Hey everyone, welcome back to Ragtag Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the Royal Canadian Mint and the Perth Mint, and just do a little bit of a comparison between uh, two of my favorite mints. And uh, just getting right off to it there, one thing that I really would like the Perth Mint to do that the Royal Canadian Mint has done is uh, getting something of a uh, mint shield technology that the Royal Canadian Mint has. Because as you can see, these have uh, you know uh, milk spotting issues. The kangaroos are the only ones that I've had problems with. You know, I'll get into my kookaburras and the koalas and some of the other Perth Mint products, but it's basically just these kangaroos that have the milk spotting problem. And it used to be a very big problem for the maple leaves as well. And this was like a kind of a deal breaker for some stackers because you know you don't want milk spotting on some nice bullion products um, especially when you buy them clean and then they milk spot in like a week or a month down the road if I see them listed for like spot or you know just a little bit over spot price and they're milk spotted up I might buy them because you know, silver is silver but you know when you're paying full price for the bullion and it's spotless and then you look at it a couple weeks later and it's milk spotted up that's that's the stuff that kind of bugs me but in 2018 they did take care of that and they introduced mint, uh, mint shield and it has helped with the milk spotting issues so I hope the Royal Canadian Mint will license out the the mint shield to other mints say like the perth mint or the royal mint that are still having the uh, the milk spotting issues on their coins or the perth mint and other ones have to step up a bit and get some technology going on their coins to help with the uh, the milk spotting but you know, you know as i said it is basically just these uh, kangaroos which are my least favorite design of any of the perth mint products that have had uh, milk spotting issues some of their other coins i have not had a problem with and that's the thing with the uh, the Perth Mint. I kind of have a, a little bit more of a variety from them. Like I just mentioned, uh, the koala is one of them. I like the koala and the, uh, the kookaburra. This is the kind of old design that they had. The uh, kookaburra is from 2016, and this one's from 2021. But they have had a revamped look to them. And uh, the 2022s look a lot different. There's more frosting on them. And, uh, you know, the, the kookaburra and the koala look different. The gold kangaroo, I have one. It has changed as well. So I do like the way that looks. And then I have, you know, this nice dragon bar here. This is a dragon coin bar. It's uh, just a one ounce. I, this one's from 2020. I believe the series started in 2021. And I really like the designs on the back with the, uh, the dragon bar. And like I said, it is a coin. It does have a $1 denomination on there. So yeah, like I said, the Perth Mint does have a wide variety of uh, bullion products. You know, the kookaburras and the koalas, they're in the same ballpark as the, uh, the kangaroos. Uh, but for the Royal Canadian Mint, I don't have too many, um, too much of a variety, I should say. I do have some different stuff, but a lot of them are just different varieties of maple leaf. Like, I like the reverse proof maples. This one's the uh, E equals MC squared privy. Uh, this one's a special low mintage one from the Winnipeg Mint. I believe this one's a mintage of 8,000. So now, uh, so this one came out in March of last year. So I'm very impatiently waiting for the 2022. And I'm crossing my fingers that it will come out uh, in June. Because it did not come out in the May releases. So I just have maples, but that's not to say that there aren't any other designs. They do have some really nice designs, some wildlife ones. They have, you know, the, the moose and the bears. They have some nice bird ones. Uh, I know they have some eagles and some falcons. They do have other coin designs. It's just they seem to be, you know, a bit more expensive than the, uh, the maple leaf whenever I see them. Whereas when you're looking at the koala or the kookaburra, they also have, uh, I think it's like the emu. I think they have the wand. That they have uh, a bunch of different animals uh, from the Perth Mint, and they're right around the same price as the investment grade uh, uh, kangaroo. They're not going to have a, a bit more of a premium, like I do see a lot on some of the uh, some of the uh, Royal Canadian Mint coins that have different animal designs on them. And it's pretty cool that the Perth Mint, outside of the kangaroos, they change the designs on a lot of their coins each year. Like the koala changes design each year, the kookaburra. They have, uh, you know, that, and that takes a lot of work. You can only, uh, you know, mint a, so much before you have to, you know, you know, transition over into the next year, get all of those dyes ready, get the old dyes out of circulation. You know, so it does take a lot of uh, work and uh, it doesn't really show up on the price tag. I thought maybe with that additional work in 
and you know labor each year of you know working on a brand new die and striking out brand new designs I thought maybe it would be uh, you know uh, way more of a premium on top but you can basically scoop these up for right around you know what you can for a kangaroo and from what I've seen up here that's not really the case with uh, the uh, investment grade maples compared to some other uh, coins from the Royal Canadian Mint those other ones uh, the, the wildlife and predator series those ones those seem to be a bit more expensive now I absolutely love the Royal Canadian Mint bar here uh, as you can see it's got some milk spotting uh, issues on there so this must be pre this bar must be pre 2018 but uh, yeah I do like the uh, the design there and the the and the Perth Mint does have some silver coins like I showed you this little coin bar there the dragon bar but I also saw like a, a cast poured uh, kilo bar looked nice you know no, no bells and whistles it just looked like a nice cast bar uh, but if you look at their gold offerings they have some really really nice gold bars like the five gram ten gram up into like five they have five ounce bars ten ounce bars it's really cool it's got like a, a tiled kangaroo on the back it's a frosted field with some mirrored like like the uh, the kangaroo on the back the, the those are mirrored like with the frosted uh, field and then the front has a nice little Perth Mint logo um, that has got a swan on there and uh, like I said they do have those in multiple sizes for gold I have not seen those for silver they may have made them in the past but uh, I think that would be pretty cool if they came out with one ounce five ounce and uh, ten ounce versions of those uh, the gold of the gold uh, bars that you see but a silver version of them I think that would be uh, pretty sharp and it would be cool if the Royal Canadian Mint did do some uh, different designs. Like I said, this is a, uh, an actual coin, even though it's a bar. This one is a coin as well, even though it's just like a little square. But uh, it does have a denomination on there. So the Perth Mint does kind of switch it up a little bit with their designs. And uh, also, uh, the, uh, the Royal Canadian Mint... Uh, that's it that's it for Canada there's no competing uh, things and when you look at the Perth Mint that's just a, a city in Australia so it's like uh, the Royal Canadian Mint is one mint and then all of a sudden they have the uh, the Vancouver Mint so that's just a big city in Canada making their own stuff and then you have the Royal Canadian Mint which is you know the, the whole country well that's kind of the case in Australia because you got the Perth Mint which is just a single city and then you have the Royal Australian Mint and uh, I find that the Perth Mint absolutely dominates the Royal Australian Mint when it comes to coinage and representation on YouTube I do not see many um, videos where there's uh, you know people talking about the uh, Australian Mint or the Royal Australian Mint more than the Perth Mint it seems to be the Perth products that uh, are you know in the stacking community and a lot of people buy those you know they do have some nice designs I said that's the probably my favorite design that I've seen from the Royal Australian Mint but I also have a gold coin from them as well so this is the 2017 year of the rooster coin I've showed it before one of my favorite things about it is the border has the other zodiac animals on there so that's another thing that the Perth Mint needs to uh, you know deal with is uh, you know another national mint because uh, everyone thinks of Australia right away they just think Perth Mint but there's a, a second major one there and the uh, the Royal Canadian Mint doesn't really have to deal with that it'd be interesting if they had to it'd be interesting if all of a sudden I don't know like uh, Calgary and Calgary's a big city in Canada it's on the western side just like Perth is on the western side of Australia and uh, yeah it would be cool if they kind of started up their own little uh, mint and the other cool thing that the Perth Mint does is they make coins and you know they're kind of commissioned from other countries to make some coins for them like little Pacific Island nations they uh, either go with uh, the New Zealand mint or the Perth mint uh, to get some of their coins done one of my favorite ones is the uh, the what is this this is the gods of the olympus i did screw up I, I dropped it and i screwed up the coin uh, the capsule here lucky it was in a capsule it would would have damaged the coin i'm glad that the uh, the capsule got damaged but uh, i do need to switch this out with a different uh, capsule but i do love the look of these um these uh, gods of the olympus coins and as you can see it's uh, tuvalu as that's a little island nation uh, but these are actually made by the perth mint and uh, yeah those are very very nice coins and the Royal Canadian Mint, as far as I know of, at least recently, they haven't been commissioned uh, to make any other coins for any other countries. So, uh, you know, I have to give the nod to the Perth Mint on that. They're very uh, versatile. 
they can do many different products at the same time. So, uh, and they're all beautiful. Like I said, the kangaroo is the only one that I dislike. And another thing I love about Canadian coins, and I know Australia has it as well, I just haven't picked up any, is uh, junk silver. I love picking up these Canadian silver dollars. These are 80% Canadian silver dollars. I picked them up off of eBay. And uh, there's only two designs that you can see here, the 64 Charlottetown, and this one is a 1965 Voyager. The Voyager is the design that you see the most. Uh, this series ran from uh, 1935 to 1967. And uh, there, are a fair, there are a few different designs. These, as I said, these are just the two. But uh, yes, I do really like getting Canadian junk silver. Not just the uh, silver dollars, but also the half dollars as well. And I do know that there are some in uh, Australia as well. There is some circulated junk silver there. I'm not completely sure what the uh, percentages are or what the names of them are, but I have seen them. I don't see them very, very. I don't see them very often. I've never seen them on an online bullion dealer. The only time that I see them is on eBay, and it usually comes with a, a pretty big um, shipping fee. A lot of the times, it is from Australia, so you're looking at like you know thirty, forty dollars shipping on uh, you know maybe twenty. $20 coin so it's uh, it's very expensive uh, but I would eventually like to get uh, at least a couple of uh, circulated silver coins from Australia because I have seen them and they do look pretty cool and junk silver is one of the types of silver that is in the base of my stack uh, the majority of it is uh, Canadian and American junk but uh, yeah like I said I would like to get just uh, a few circulated coins from Australia and from all over the world as well. There's uh, plenty of European countries that I would like to get my hands on uh, some of their circulated silver as well. But with all that being said, with the comparisons there and everything that I uh, talked about, gave some pros and some cons for each of them. Um, but, uh, you know, home country bias aside, I think I have to give it to the Perth Mint. I think the Perth Mint overall on everything I think they have better products I think they have better designs and I think a lot of their coins are you know more uh, affordable than say some of the alternatives to the maple leaf that you will be seeing from the Royal Canadian Mint don't get me wrong the Royal Canadian Mint does make some nice products but uh, they do carry a heavier premium whereas a lot of the different coins that come out from the Perth Mint are still in that sort of investment grade tier and you're still kind of seeing it uh, around the same price maybe a dollar or two more than the kangaroo but it's not going to be you know a big big difference say when you're looking at a maple leaf compared to a, rever a reverse proof maple leaf or if you're looking at a, just a regular maple leaf compared to an incuse maple leaf and don't even get me started on the super incuse that one's through the roof so you know so they do have different options but I find that uh, the uh, Perth Mint on a whole is a bit more affordable uh, and you can kind of uh, uh, get a different thing each year if you, if you don't want to get uh, bored with uh, Maple Leafs. I don't think I'll ever get bored with Maple Leafs. I'm going to fill up as many tubes as I want. But uh, if you want to go with koalas one year and kookaburras the next year and kangaroos the next after that, then you can switch it up and, uh, you know, there's a bunch of different options there for you. As I said, you know, right around that same pr uh, price point for each coin. But I would like to hear what you guys think. I do know I have talked with a bunch of people in the, uh, the comments before, and it does seem to be uh, these two mints that are always down to the, down to the wire uh, for people on, uh, you know, which one they like the best. And uh, yeah, I would like to hear from you if it's the Royal Canadian Mint or the Perth Mint. Uh, but yeah, as I said, just I think I have to give the slight, the slightest of slight edges to uh, the Perth Mint on this one. But uh, yes, as always, I'd like to hear what uh, what you guys think because uh, you know I was like continuing the conversation down in the uh, down in the comments. But anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.